What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'd like to talk about how a lot of people in the community feel like Warzone is getting more love than multiplayer. Now this was kind of how I felt and this is how I felt for a long time now since Warzone was introduced into the game. I felt like as soon as Warzone came out, right to begin with when it was first launched, that multiplayer was kind of left lacking. It was almost like Activision and the devs put multiplayer on the back burner because Warzone was making them a lot of money. And even though that it is free to play, it's still making money from skins and you know things out of the store. And I think a lot of people in the community now are starting to get worried or are starting to talk about this more because uh, Modern Warfare 2 is going to be out for two years. Where in the past, over the last couple years, you know, you might get a Call of Duty game, you might play the multiplayer for five or six months, you might stop playing if you were not a Warzone fan, like, kind of like I'm not really a big Warzone fan. You might play something else for a few months, and then, you know, at the end of that year, beginning of the next year, a new Call of Duty title was going to be coming out. But this year, that is not the case. Of course, we're going to have to wait for two years before we get a new Call of Duty game. And I think a lot of people in the community are starting to realize, uh, you know, that if it's handled like it has been in the past, it may be bad for multiplayer. Plus, I think a lot of people in the community are also starting to think, you know, why are we paying, you know, here in the United States, 75 bucks for a game? And I know it's going to be high no matter where you live price wise. Uh, you're paying for that campaign and multiplayer. And then Warzone is free and they're getting more content and more things added to the game than we are for, you know, as paying customers when it comes to multiplayer. Now, in the past, of course, before Warzone was a thing, multiplayer was, you know, kind of Call of Duty's go-to. You know, that's what everybody played uh, every year. People that didn't even play a lot of shooters would even go buy a Call of Duty and play it because it was just something people played year in and year out. Now, you might not have played it the entire year. You might have played a couple months here and there. Whatever the case may have been for you, uh, it still didn't really matter because the multiplayer was, was just kind of top tier and I think over the years skill based matchmaking adding Warzone some other things have kind of not made the game as enjoyable multiplayer wise as it used to be for a lot of people uh, I can say that personally for me I think the multiplayer is not as fun as it used to be some games have been better than others but overall I think people are wanting more for multiplayer because if you look at what we've already got kind of in game right now um, people are already kind of getting upset about how you know, they're, they're promising new things for Warzone 2 when it comes to maps. Also, that inspired Rocket mode, uh, Rocket League mode kind of game coming at some point. Uh, a lot of other stuff to do maybe for DMZ. We're talking about adding stuff for that. And when it comes to multiplayer, they're not really talking about adding a whole lot. They're talking about adding operators we've already had in the past. Adding some, you know, redesigned maps that we've had in the past. And people feel like you're kind of just paying for redesigned stuff for multiplayer. And then that, uh, you know, Warzone and DMZ are going to get all the new stuff. Now, I understand that, you know, there's a large amount of the population when it comes to Call of Duty, the amount of players that you have playing. They're playing Warzone. They're playing DMZ. But when it comes to everyone out there that just loves that traditional multiplayer, we're kind of left lacking and wanting more sometimes, uh, it feels like. And this year, it may be even worse than the has been in the past if the devs don't step up exactly what they're going to do, considering we're going to have to wait two years before we get another Call of Duty game. Now, I was really hoping for a great rank mode to come out. Uh, you know, Treyarch's working on that. Got something I'm interested in playing. But a lot of people like to just go in, play Search and Destroy, play Team Deathmatch, Domination, whatever the case may be. And I think Infinity Ward and Activision need to look at that as well because that's what kind of made Call of Duty what it is today is that great multiplayer. And I think they definitely can, you know, it's a big enough company where they can have enough teams to work on Warzone, to work on DMZ, and to also keep multiplayer up to date and fresh as well. Anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.